What other way to protect yourself than a spiritual bath? Get your protection baths today at stylesbyag.com with this special blend of herbs and salts with an oil included for that perfect protection bath. Hello, Star Season. Welcome back to my channel. This is another AA After Ascension um, car chat. Um, I'm going to talk about some downloads and things like that that I've got last night from the new moon in Libra. So I just want to talk about um, some downloads and some some messages that I've received and just some insight on like how I view things and how um, messages get portrayed to me and how I see things from different um, different perspectives and things like that. Um, so first, I do just want to apologize about the uh the readings okay all the sign readings not being posted um at the beginning of the month just kind of like working with this mercury retrograde kind of filtering some things out getting some things together um so i haven't been able to really sit in in a space and be able to record but the videos are going to be coming soon so be on the lookout for that and um thank you for your patience and your time so i just want to talk about like 9, 10, and 11 in the, the months, um, you know, September, November, October, and the, the zodiacs and the energies and um, how I look at them and how I'm looking, how I look at this time and how I interpret this, this times and that what that we're coming out of going into and um, sitting in currently. So we are currently in the sign of Libra. We are in October now. Okay. Um, and I look at 10 as the a restart number okay nine com being completion september um being the ninth month and that you know that bringing things to to a close into like a, a ending of the cycle um similar to to nine months of pregnancy of of you know baking and things like that a lot of things uh can correlate to nine but now that we're in 10 we're in october um it's it's a death rebirth type of situation um so looking at virgo being the sign for september and the month of nine um it, virgo is the version okay virgo is the human virgo is the earth element uh the worker and as we go into libra libra is litigation libra is laws and in things balancing out okay um also balancing out i feel between the human which is virgo and then scorpio being the underworld and um the the darkness and all things death okay um our, our spirits and our ancestors and, and and things like that and our 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 loved ones and just our energies that were here before us um because we still need them and we still use those energies and they're still present um, here today. So it's like moving from Virgo to Libra to Scorpio is going from that human and then bound the, the human aspects of things and the, the earth element of, of being on earth and in life and things like that. And then we move into Libra and that's we're kind of like in, in between life and death. OK, we're in between that that life on earth. And the life under Earth, which is Scorpio in the underworld. Okay, so Libra kind of balance balances out um, those two worlds. Okay, Earth in the underworld. So that that's just the downloads that came through, and that I'm um, in the way of looking at it because being in the Libra season, this air energy, you know, um, especially with this retrograde, things can be kind of you know chaotic. Um, as the scales balance out and as we balance out life, um, balance out our chakras, just balancing out everything in general. Um, because as we move into Scorpio season, I'm telling you guys right now, October. Oh yeah. And I cut my hair on October 1st. y'all. I, I cut my hair on October 1st. I'm going through, you know, my deaths and my rebirths and, and transformations. And I, I, we all are as a collective. Um, but as we're moving from from 10 and into 11 11 is that door opening okay 11 is that portal you know 9 was the ending of the cycle 10 is that reset 11 is that portal 
to to go through and and take take over okay so as we're going through these deaths and rebirths and transformations um it's good to just like you know pay attention to how things um transform and transpire and reflect from the first re reflect from january until now and really um give gratitude and 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 give thanks for the journey taking the good with the bad the black and the white the yin and the yang um I know for me personally, I've had a very, very, very great 2021. There's so much things that I've done, um, so much new things that I've done, so much new things that I've tried and, and stepped into. Um, but there were also some bad times as well. I live in Texas. We had that unexpected snow. Um, survival skills had to kick in and things like that. And through Mercury retrograde, something sometimes um, that kind of it, it recycles and it, it kind of brings forth. The, those times that happened a few months ago to kind of get you to reflect and get you to appreciate everything that that life is and everything that this journey is so it's just a beautiful thing um just looking at it from all these different aspects but i'm telling you guys now scorpio season is going to shake things up there's there's no doubt about it okay scorpio season is definitely going to shake some things up um keep in mind our country is being ran by a scorpio okay um the president is definitely a scorpio so things might be coming out on um, my you know definitely birthday rituals things like that so if something you know crazy goes on in the news with that man you know probably some ritualistic things because his birthday is coming up uh scorpio season and scorpio is revealing okay it's bringing things to the surface it's a secret it's the secret keeper okay so a lot of things just in general um you know the, the internet had to shut down with the facebook and everything like that so as we're moving into scorpio season you're going to see um and things a lot of things are going to begin to make sense as things get revealed um on all on and on all aspects in every level um so yeah just just pay attention and be aware of that as well um yeah and like i said as we move in out of october into november it's uh it's the portal it's it's the november the the 11 okay those the aspects of that that double one okay it's a it's a new start it's a it's a new door opening and with october the whole month just represents death the whole think about halloween the skulls the pumpkins everything is is about death and, and rebirth and harvesting okay um and really really honing in on um life skills and interpersonal skills and just just everything spirituality and um all things of who you are because once again scorpio the underworld we cannot forget our ancestors okay we um we look out and we, we look out into to other people, places and things. Um sometimes things that, that that don't necessarily look like us. Um so we have to really get back to to our roots and connect with our ancestors or your, specifically your ancestors and connecting with um your loved ones and people that actually look like you and and paying attention to the things that uh, that you're practicing and things like that um because i'm telling you guys moving into scorpio season is about to get crazy okay it's about to get crazy and it, the shift is already happening now the shift is happening now if you don't feel like you're transforming if you don't feel like you're about to elevate if you're not doing the work that needs to be done um to to get you into the spaces that you're trying to get into it, it might be too late you you might have you might have dropped the ball um but yeah, we're slowly, we're slowly, 2021 is slowly coming into an end. And 2022, that 222 energy, baby, that 246, that's going to be so much movement, okay? The movement is going to be crazy. Um, the elevation the, it, it is going to be crazy. The, the inner knowing, the psychic awareness is all going to be, you know, heightened and, um, and you got to be ready. You got to be ready and you got to be prepared for it, okay? Everything that you're speaking, everything that you're, you know, manifesting and, and, and putting the work in to do, it, it's, it's about to, you know, come into fruition it, as long as you're doing what you need to do and really just, you know, 
don't forget your ancestors don't forget you know the the underworld because it's it's still a part of all that is Okay, yeah, we are here on Earth. Yeah, we do. We get into the Pisces of things and the Pisces and Aquarius being, you know, up here in our mental and the astro. But we cannot forget that Scorpionic energy. We cannot forget that what came before us. Okay, yeah, we can be, you know, mentally into the future, astrologically into, you know, the future. But we, we have to remember and, um, and, and give thanks to what was here first and, you know, those uh those spirits and those ancestors because it's very important it's very important so just keep that in mind like i just i thought that was very interesting the the virgo the libra and the scorpio and how how they all you know correlate and correspond because uh yeah and then after scorpio is sad so that that's you know those four elements is what's going to get the ball rolling and what's going to, you know, keep things going and uh, for you. But I think that's pretty much it. While we're in Libra season, just continue to, you know, balancing, balance out um, things, especially like the masculine, feminine energy um, and really understanding oneness. Okay. Um I know with this this air energy and this Mercury retrograde and things like that, things may be a little shooken up. And Pluto is going to be coming out of retrograde too towards the end of October. So, the, and that's that that's Scorpio. That's transformation. That's that's hitting things too. So as that as as Pluto comes out of retrograde as well, um, things will be coming up to the surface for sure. Um, hidden, hidden things will be uh, arising and coming up to the surface. So I just wanted to give y'all a quick little video on those downloads that I had and uh, just be on the lookout for um, the sign readings. They will be coming out uh, periodically. And don't forget to shop the website, stylesbyag.com. Get your crystal jewelry, protection baths, and things like that. Um, oh yeah, also I just wanted to say October and, and Halloween, the whole thing, um, the veil is thin, the veil is thin, like I said, the 10, the 1, the 0, the restart, 10 breaking down to a 1, okay, it's a, it's a restart, um, it's a death, it's a rebirth, so, um, I also got the message to, uh, last night, release, reflect, revive, okay, that's the times that we're in, um, release the burdens of your past, uh, reflect on this year, reflect on your past, reflect on it and, you know, really understand why things happen the way they happen and, um, and then revive yourself so that they, the bad things won't happen in, in that sense again, or that you'll be prepared next time and, um, and, and revive and replenish your energy, um, as well. So yeah, shop the website stylesbyag.com. Follow me on Instagram at Jules by Ayana and Styles by Ayana G. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and share this video to all your social media platforms. Um, if this interests you, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.